So while we're in Mon uh, while we're in here, let's find Mongoose as well. Mongoose is the framework we are going to use to make schemas for our database. And this is the Mongoose page. And I just click this guy and you'll see it in NPM. Just to show you how you can also figure it out, you can go to their actual GitHub site because all of this is stored on GitHub. Most NPM projects are stored on GitHub. And again, on GitHub, you can see some examples on how to use this. And again, notice NPM install Mongoose. So let's start there. Let's, uh, we have to shut our server down this time because we're actually changing something. So we do npm install mongoose. And then this is how you use mongoose. So we have to first say we require mongoose and we can connect mongoose to the database somehow. So, and then we'll define a model in a second. So let's just try and go back to our system here and just see that it actually installs mongoose right now and all its dependencies. And um, while it does that, let's go into our editor and require mongoose now. So we can require mongoose just like you required all the other tools in here. And now we have to tell it where do you actually want to connect to? What should your database be called? And in this case, we're going to call the database uh, simple test. Simple test. Now, to make this run, of course, you have to have your mongoose running inside uh, one of your um, command prompts. So here I have a running mongoose right now. And it's actually right now connected to the port 2707. Um, so let's see if this is enough. But I add these lines in here as well. So let's go back to the console and see if it's actually running now. Yep, it installed all the plugins it needed. Let's just start our Notemon server again. I just do arrow up, by the way, to get my old commands back. It seems to be running. So let's see what we can actually do here. Let's try and make a first schema inside our code. Notice right now I'm just putting everything inside the same piece of code. So this we're going to make another scheme, but let's just try and put a schema in here right after the mongoose guy right here. I'm going to use mongoose to get a schema out. I'm going to get an object ID here, it seems. Um, let's not do that. Let's just make it simple. I'll make a schema. I'll call the schema user. That'll be my new schema. Actually, I'll call it user schema just to explain that's what it is. And I'm going to just add a name here. Now the name is going to be a string. So notice that I'm just right now putting in the body that we just made before. There we go. So now I have my I have mongoose installed and I've made my user schema for mongoose. Next, we're going to try and use it down here in the post. See you next time.